What's up guys, this is Luxury Sedan, and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Streamlabs Currency. If you're like me, you probably want to set up currency so that way you can do giveaways with your viewers. You know, boost viewer engagement, viewers coming into your channel in the first place, all that good stuff. To do a giveaway, you have to have a currency system on your channel. So the first thing you want to do when you're on the Twitch homepage, look your, your picture, go to Creator Dashboard. And then on the very left, there's Extensions. Uh, I'm going to show you my extensions. You have to have the Streamlabs overlay. If you don't have that, you can go to Discovery, Streamlabs, and for whatever reason it's, it's not the first one, it's this one right here. See it says overlay? You're going to want to install that. Mine's already installed. Once you have it installed, you'll see it here under my extensions. You can configure it with the little gear. This is very important. Keep recent events open. In order for all the features to work correctly, your Streamlabs recent events window must remain open. So it's got a, a thing right here to quickly get you to that. But you probably know where recent events is um, from your dashboard, recent events. But you'll want to keep that open whenever you're, you're running these things. Now we're going to switch over to the Streamlabs website. When you log in, um, you'll have all your icons over here on the left. Under Community and Growth, Twitch, Extensions, you've got Overlay and Loyalty. Once you click on that, the first page that comes up is all of your users and what their points are. So you see I've got you know so many people here, here's their points. You can actually sort these by the, the point values, however you want to do that. The gear icon, you can edit points. This is an adjustment, so if you want to raise somebody to 200 points, you kind of got to do a little math. So this guy's got 105, if I edit it to 95, that's my adjustment. Now he's at 200. If I want to reduce him by a matter of points for some reason, you're going to put in your negative sign. Now he's back down to 105. So that's your users. But how do users get points in the first place? You go over here to point settings. You give your points a name. I call mine Lux Bucks. And they're going to earn one Lux Buck after five minutes of being in the stream. If you follow, you're going to get 100, 200 for sub, 20 for host, 100 bits get you 25 points. Under the games tab, um, you can do chess drops in the chat. So I've got mine set that they're going to get five points. Uh, there's going to be a chest that drops every 10 minutes and the percentage of viewers getting chests is 50%. So you got a really good chance if you're in there. Um, and then you've got 30 seconds to claim it. So says chests are fun items that drop on a stream at a specific interval. Your viewers can earn points by simply clicking and opening chests. But like I said a minute ago, I really wanted to set this up for giveaways. So what's the best way to do that? You can see there's a under Twitch extensions, you've also got chatbot. That's what I really recommend is chatbot. There is a polls and giveaways tab here. Um, you've got the giveaway title and giveaway URL, but it's it's not as sophisticated as chatbot. So you're going to want to download that. Once you've downloaded it, um, you'll load up. It'll look something like this. You'll start on the console or dashboard screen. I don't remember. But what you're going to want to do, you come down to connections. What you really want to connect is your Streamlabs connection. There are different um, tutorials that can help you with this, but I found it was pretty easy. I didn't really have to do much at all. So I'm just going to hit connect. So that connects my chatbot to Streamlabs, the website, because you know I downloaded Streamlabs chatbot, but it has no idea whether I have a Streamlabs account or not. So once you connect those two, that's when you're in business. Uh, and I, th I think this goes back to needing the Streamlabs overlay as well. So once you've connected there, um, I'm still going to connect up here. Like I said, it's probably not required, but I'm connecting to the bot to the chat. I'm connecting the Twitch streamer to the chat, all that good stuff. You notice on the left-hand side, we've got a lot of different places we can go. 
you'll see there's a giveaway section. There's also a currency section. Let's go into currency, which is where I'm at right now. You'll notice there's a gear icon up here. There's, you can add, you can edit, remove ranks, a lot of different things, but you'll want to come into the gear settings. This is where you set things up first and foremost. So my command for people to check their points, I have one exclamation points, but if you want to get cute with it, you can do exclamation Lux bucks or exclamation G bucks or whatever, you know, you want to call it. Uh, the name of it is Lux bucks and the response, this is just the default one that was in chatbot when I started. I just left it at that. I'm going to assign ranks based on points, not hours automatically become a regular whatever you want to do there but you want to make sure use Streamlabs extension currency is checked right there and down here we've got event payout so on a raid you're gonna get a hundred points on a follow 100 on a sub 300 mass sub 300 on host 20 if you notice let me go back to Streamlabs the website point settings these are actually the same as on the Streamlabs website but for some reason there's no option in chatbot for bits um, but what I've been told because I tweeted Streamlabs directly and I said hey if I'm using chatbot does it use these settings over the ones on the website and they said yes so I guess when you connect down here in the console when you connect Streamlabs um, to chatbot this is gonna basically become the driver for your your channel it's not gonna use uh, the website that's going to be the guy in the passenger seat chatbot is going to be your driver so once you've set currency the currency gear section up how you want to um, that's when you can get more into the giveaway section before we head off to do the giveaway um, just want you to see in here you can sort by points as well you can sort by hours so you have that option you right click you can edit the points you change it to whatever you want this is where you put whatever you actually want the points to be. It's not like on the Streamlabs website where you're making an adjustment, positive value or a negative value. If I wanted my points to be 5,300, I don't have to do math, I just put 5,300. You'll notice down the left-hand side of the, the chat bot, you've got a section called giveaway. I recently did a, a giveaway for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. The command that I wanted to use was exclamation raffle, and that's actually the default value there. Um, you can type in the name of your prize, put in permissions, um, ticket cost, it costs one ticket to enter. One ticket is one point for one Lux Bucks in my case. So whatever your currency is set up as, it's whenever someone uses that currency, they're buying a ticket to the raffle. Um, I've also got it set up to where you have max tickets. This isn't enabled by default, but um, I can go you can go from 0 to 100 tickets that's the maximum amount of tickets you can uh, buy so if you have a hundred points of currency in my channel then you're gonna get 100 tickets into the raffle which is gonna be way better than someone who only has you know, say five points in the channel and they can only buy a maximum of five to begin with once you set all that up you're gonna do open giveaway so if you go to console you'll see that giveaway for a call of duty Black Ops 4 has started. Everyone can join. Entry costs 1. Max entry is 100. Type raffle space, then however many tickets to join. So whatever you put over here in your giveaway prize section, that's what shows up right here. Um, so I'm going to show you when you do exclamation raffle 5. Remember I had 5300 points. So I've increased my tickets. In the giveaway you see that I have five now I wanted to make sure that my users were getting their points deducted like they should whenever they enter these giveaways so they couldn't just you know if they had 50 points they could only get 50 tickets but if it wasn't calculating that out and taking their points away when they bought raffle tickets they could just keep entering to get to the max tickets if you went to currency you remember I was at 5300 now I'm at 5295 sometimes that doesn't work this does not update in real time uh, I also tweeted Streamlabs about this. It just so happened to work this time, but when I was doing this several weeks ago, I was freaking out because it would never work. Um, so I tweeted them directly, and this may not up update right off the bat, but the website will. Manage users, 
uh, see I'm at 5295 here as well let's increase tickets one more time so this actually didn't work probably because I was gonna go over the amount of raffle tickets you could actually have so now it actually did work remember my max tickets was set at a hundred if you go back to giveaway I have 55 tickets now currency tab see it's still 52.95 I'm not crazy but if you go back to the Streamlabs website and do a reload or a refresh I should say 52.45 so if you're freaking out you're like oh my gosh my currency's not updating everything's broken my hair's on fire don't worry about it it's all on the Streamlabs website so back to the giveaway my points are working I'm ready to pick the person who's gonna be the winner how do I do that very simple you see you've got a couple buttons up here what you're gonna to want to do in this order is close the giveaway um, if for some reason you accidentally hit that or some regulars came in your channel that you really wanted to give them an opportunity to enter as well you can reopen that back up and in the console you'll see entries have stopped for the giveaway entries are allowed once again and then it gives out the instructions again so once you're ready to actually close it close it down then you're gonna to go to pick winner and you know you're gonna have all your users listed right here obviously I'm the one that's gonna win when you hit pick winner it comes up right here luxury sedan 3030 and then you can communicate with that person in the chat about you know what they won how they get that and all that good stuff if for some reason you know, say you enter the couple people entered the raffle and there's just really not enough people to do the raffle that night or, or for whatever reason you need to cancel and you need to refund everybody's points see I've got five tickets in a new raffle that I just started you're gonna go to reset you haven't picked a winner yet do you want to refund all entered users yes I'm gonna clear all messages blah 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 that's how you refund if you needed to do that so that's it that's how you use currency I hope you've learned something today I hope this gets you off to a better start than I got off on and we'll see you back next time for another tutorial video